Hey, welcome guys. This is going to be teaching you about RCS, which stands for Rich Communication Service. Now, before I can do that, I have to jump into the past and explain what SMS and MMS is very quickly first. So SMS, which stands for Short Messaging Service, was first introduced by the Global System for Mobile Communication back in the 1980s. The idea was to basically send a very quick short message, which is capped at 160 characters from one cell phone to another. It's actually the idea on which Twitter was based upon having quick messages sent to each other, although it's been changed recently to 280 characters on Twitter. SMS is pretty much a service provided by cell phone network operators and it's usually part of your text plan and it's pretty much able to work with any cell phone that exists worldwide. Now MMS, which stands for Multimedia Messaging Service, is basically SMS but upgraded a little bit. Now, the technology was developed by 3GPP and became popularized in the 2000s, early millennium. So where SMS is limited to sending text messages, MMS allows you to send pictures, videos, and audio clips, but you're kind of capped at a file size. Typically, MMS version 1.2 would allow for file size to be sent at 300 kilobytes, whereas MMS version 1.3 allows for sending files that are 600 kilobytes in size. However, that's still really compressing a lot of data, especially considering that a lot of pictures you take nowadays are usually three to four megabytes in size, which is pretty much the average. So sending MMS has always been horrible because it compresses the data files like crazy. It's actually why a lot of people jump ship to services like CocoTalk, WhatsApp. Traditionally, for most cell phone network providers, MMS can only be used if you have a data plan. It will not work if you do not have a data plan. Now, the way it works is if the sending party has an MMS file they wanna send and the recipient's phone is off or they have no cell phone signal, the next time they get cell phone signal, the telco provider will then push that MMS to your phone and you'll receive it once you have signal again. Now RCS, which is Rich Communication Service, was released in November of 2016. It takes the idea of SMS, MMS, combines them together and makes them way better. In fact, the idea is basically like this. It allows you to use options such as typing out a message and you get a notification when the recipient has opened that message and read it, get the ability to send pictures and videos in 10 megabytes of size, which may increase in the future, we'll never know until that happens. And of course, you can share your location, and the list goes on. Now, the idea here sounds very similar to services like CocoTalk, Facebook Messenger, Skype, chat, doesn't it? But here's the problem, if you ever wanna use those services, if I was using CocoTalk and when my friends switched to WhatsApp, I had to download WhatsApp. The idea of RCS is that it's gonna be installed natively on your phone. So the second you open your phone out of the box, you and your friends will have RCS capability. You won't have to download these third-party apps like WhatsApp Messenger and stuff to do group chats and send multimedia messages. This is great because RCS will be tied natively to your cell phone number and the idea later on is to have it so that when you go through your contacts app in your cell phone's list, you can actually see which one of your contacts is RCS compatible and you can start using the service right away. Now the GSM Association is a global association of network providers throughout the world who have come together and want to really utilize this standard. They want to really implement RCS and they kind of had a set standard of what can be done to implement RCS worldwide faster. Now you don't have to be part of the GSM Association to really get RCS on your telco network provider, but it's just nice to have their input because it will help implement their standard a lot faster. Now Google is actually the biggest supporter of RCS and it makes complete sense because you'll have RCS capability tied to your phone number. Now do keep in mind that if you've had a high-end Android device for the last two years or so, it's very possible your smartphone already supports RCS capability. The reason you might not be able to use it right now is because most likely your network cell phone provider doesn't have that capability just yet. Now some of the bigger companies like AT&T in the US and Vodafone in Europe actually have been supporting and using RCS for a while, but just a lot of people aren't aware of it just yet. Google is really pushing on this to become a kind of universal platform and they're helping the GSMA association on making this a universal standard, which is always great. The big company that's not really caring about this so much, Apple. That's right, they really aren't supporting RCS that much. They want people to use iPhone and iMessenger. Uh, they're just like, why not just use our own technology for our own devices, why support other, everyone else, which is kind of usually the Apple mindset, unfortunately. So now you have a better understanding of SMS, MMS, and RCS, which keeps you ahead of the game with other people. In fact, you might've been using SMS for the longest time and not had even an inkling of its history, but now you know. So I hope you guys found this video useful and I do hope that RCS becomes popular because it sounds pretty cool instead of downloading third-party apps that are not necessary. 
I hope you guys hit that like button. It does help. Check out my social links in the video description. And thanks for watching.